Oh, and hello there, f small friends. <laughs> this is pretty good. Hello everyone, I'm Kibitz, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Where last time, we did a world tour, where we went by episode by episode, checking out all the cool stuff we've accomplished so far, recapping the series, and I provided the world download for you guys. So if you're new, check that video out, and it'll catch you up to speed. But then in the episode before that, we did a huge train expansion where we expanded our train network out from our base to this area here, adding in truck stations, a new train station, and we extended the lines out in other directions for a future expansion. But now today we'll do a little bit more train stuff, and then we're gonna jump into something spicy. But first off here, I have made some changes to our train stop and our truck stops. Whereas before, we had the truck stops in this pit stop maneuver, so all the trucks would come down this way, swerve off to the left, and pit stop at each truck station. But now I've switched it all up so the trucks drive through the stations. So they come in, they go into the little slot, unload, and go out. Because with our old system, multiple stuff was getting into multiple truck stations and it was causing a mess for our belts. So now that it's changed, everything's all organized and things are running smoothly. And now with this whole system kind of ready to go and expand, we're gonna switch gears a bit and build a whole brand new train station. But don't worry, we're not gonna focus on this train station all day here, but I do need it up and running. And we need it to go over to here. This little grassy field area that has six normal quartz nodes. And also, relatively close to those quartz nodes, is another node we desperately need. Right over here. The sulfur. We need more. So, we're gonna start things off at our main train in and out point, where everything kinda gets distributed. And this time though, instead of going over in that direction, we're heading to the left. And this is the beginning of our, what, what direction is this? Eastward expansion. Because at the end of the day, our plan is to have a train track that goes, oh gosh, why is the map stuck to my mouse? Leave it alone? Okay, I guess this is a weird experimental bug. But anyway, yeah, we're gonna have a train track that goes to the left, out and around the entirety of the world. And then we're gonna have another train track that goes to the right, and kind of meets up at the other side, maybe. I'm not 100% sure yet how it will work, but that's generally the idea. But yeah, this is the start of that huge project. So, time to build at 30,000 platforms. Oh man, you know what? Honestly, building the tracks and the platforms isn't really the hard part. The hard part is really planning out where to go. So, I've done something here. We have the track now split up into two directions. So one direction is going up that way towards the quartz, and the other is going down that way, which will end up kind of in this little weird area near the swamp here. Because up this way, there are just so many resources. Like there's up here, iron node here, the six quartz nodes like I mentioned, and just so much more. Like look at all this fog, so much stuff going on. There we go. And then also coming up this way, it was important to kind of think about where to go next. So this needs to go to the other side of the map. So I decided we're gonna dip into this biome and kind of just dodge the entirety of the swamp area because, you know, it's a huge mess. And then the other train track I made is going into the swamp all on its own. So it'll be on its solo little adventure into the heart of darkness. But don't worry, Sucko, you'll be safe. But yeah, that other train track will come through the little hole in the mountains there, go down this natural road, and probably park somewhere just down there. Then at that point, we're just gonna have to belt everything from like the swamp over to the train station, because there's no way you're getting a truck through there, brother. And not only is this near the swamp, but it's also near that precious, precious sulfur node I want. So it kind of fits two purposes, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Except for one pretty big issue, and that is this little area. There's a ton of rocks in the way, and not only the explodey rocks, but the uh, spicy rocks too. So that's an oof. I think we can handle getting past the spicy rocks, but the explodey rocks? I don't have any noblesks. In fact, oh my god, we don't- <laughs> We don't even have the rifle yet! Oh, oh, wait, hold up! I want to go into the swamp biome and I don't have a rifle? 
Oh, rascally kibs, what are you doing? Okay, we super gotta switch gears here. Man, it's like you get so wrapped up in so many other projects that I just, I, I completely glossed over it. Where even are we in the tech tree? Let's check the ma'am. What are we doing here? We're good there. Caterium. Ooh, supercomputers. You could get that. Ooh, inflated pocket dimension. We can get that too. Wait, can we get that right now? Please, please. How many do we have? Oh my God, life is glorious. Wait, why did, oh, why did I do that? We want the rifle. Okay, where's the rifle at? Uh, sulfur? <laughs> why did I do this? Oh no, okay, well we can unlock the rifle. We need some circuit boards and we have everything else. Then the cartridges need rubber and the black powder. All right, well we only need three minutes and I'm 99% sure we don't have any black powder. All right, well, <laughs> clearly I was wrong. But we need 200, right? Yeah. How do you make black powder again? How do we go through this? Oof. I think we're gonna have to run through the tech tree here. Okay, but for black powder, I know that we need sulfur and coal. Of course, all of our sulfur and coal is making compacted coal right now, so hmm, it'd be really handy if we had that extra sulfur node right now. Oh, bud. But then we have this setup over here, which can do the same. Wait, what is, what is going on? What has happened here? Why, what have I done? Why is there garbage everywhere? Is this for my power grid? Please tell me it's not. Oh, it is. Oh, lovely. Well, at least we found this problem before, you know, the end of time. Ooh, but looking on the bright side here, think about this. If this system was broken for the last who knows how long, that means we're technically not using it in our power grid right now. Meaning, don't tell future kids this, but this means we can take the sulfur temporarily and use it for our other projects. Hmm, what a good idea. And would you look at this? We just happen to have a huge area of space available for building. It's almost like it was meant to be. All right, what a turn of events, but first, Pocket dimension, please. And now, let's go get our rifle and things. So we'll get the rifle first. Just need a couple of those circuit boards. And now we get ourselves a rifle in like three minutes. And also we still can't get the cartridges, so I guess it's time to work on our, our weapons factory, of all things. <laughs> Didn't really expect to be going in this direction today. Fortunately for us though, a weapons factory isn't gonna be like the biggest to do in the world here because we don't need to worry about like rates all that much. We just need it to work. Because since we don't really use Nobelisks or ammo all too often, and I always spend like <laughs> hundreds of hours beast building, yeah, once we have this built, it'll make enough stuff for us forever. At least that's what I assume here. Let's just go through the production chain. So obviously number one, we need the black powder. Cool, sulfur compacted coal, what? Oh, this is an alternate. Oh, I didn't even know we had that. There we go. Wait, we could use that alternate, couldn't we? No. Mm. Oh. oh, wow, wow, wow. I am super omega happy. I looked into that alternate recipe because it is amazingly better. Oh my gosh. So the normal recipe is this, right? 15 sulfur per minute to make a 7.5 black powder per minute. So that is 60 sulfur would equal, what is it? 20 black powder? No, 30 black powder. Yeah, 60 sulfur to 30 black powder. Whereas with the fine black powder recipe, once all is said and done, 60 sulfur total will equal 80 black powder total. So yeah, you could say that this recipe is, is pretty good. It's, it's not bad, it's not bad at all. So we're gonna be using it. Then from there, we're gonna wanna make nobelisks, which are extremely simple. Some steel pipes and the black powder we've just mentioned. And we have like, Steel pipes just above us. <laughs> Wait a <laughs> It's literally right beside here. Dude, do you just ever have like something and it just all works out? Like, I couldn't have planned this better. Totally. Okay. So yeah, that's the Nobelisks. And then the rifle ammo. How do you make the rifle ammo? Wait. <laughs> I don't know. We don't have it unlocked yet. 
So yeah, let's go ahead and unlock that then. Uh, first off though, a rifle uh, researched. We will build it later because of course we want our ammo first. Ooh, 100 extra stuff and things. There's the stuff, there are the things. Let's get that research, please. And thank you. Excellent. So now how do you make the ammo? Fun fact, you can press N now, and is there a little quick search bar that appears. There we go, and we can see what's up. Oh, that's fun. So it's gonna take more black powder. Mm-hmm. Uh, the stuff we already need for noblesks. Cool. It takes rubber, and then, oh, of course, the best thing yet, beacons, which will take a manufacturer. And we do have the alternate recipe for that, which still takes a manufacturer. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Now look, I like manufacturers, they look cool, but brother, <laughs> they're a pain in the butt. I don't even know if we can fit them downstairs. Yeah, because the ceiling to this area is a little bit lower because we have the hypertube hub up there, right? So, um, <gasps> I don't know how we got away with this, but we did. Okay, excellent. Well, <laughs> that solves like most of our problems. Cool. So we can get that bad boy down there. It will make all of our ammo. We'll almost certainly only have like one of these running. Yeah, that also brings up a few other problems. Most notably, the black powder. Yeah, 30 per minute is a lot. All right, and I've put it all together now, so all of our black powder needs are dealt with. So this is the only like intricate part, I think, to our whole system here. Because the main thing is, I didn't want to use a lot of sulfur, right? So we're only going to be using 60 per minute, and I've load balanced things to work out pretty much perfectly. So 60 per minute goes into this load balancer, where it gets split into three, so 20, 20, and 20. Two of the 20s make a 40 in this merger, and the 40 line goes down into this row of 5.33 assemblers. That's just six assemblers with one on 33% uh, clock speed. And then the 20 will go way down over this way, and we'll start making compacted coal in this bad boy down here. So it's at 80%, making 20 compacted coal per minute, and that will make our 80 black powder per minute using only 60 sulfur, and I guess, yeah, 60 coal too. No, we only use 20 coal. Wow, <laughs> this uses nothing. And thankfully, that gets the hardest part of this project out of the way, I hope. <laughs> So now with the 80 black powder per minute, of course we're gonna wanna make ourselves a couple noblesks so the world can go boom. That is always a good time. And uh, these guys take up 15 black powder per minute. So let's have two of these, making six noblesks per minute. And that way we only use 60 steel pipes per minute, and that's pretty convenient as well. Now as for the ammunition, that's gonna be a little bit spicier now, won't it? Doodly 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 do. So the beacons, I think we'll deal with somewhere else. The steel pipes, again, not like the end of the world. And 30 black powder. We're using 30 black powder here, between these two machines, meaning we have an extra 20. So it'd be kind of nice if we overclock this to use the extra 50. All right, and there we go. 49.8, pretty much 50. But what about the beacons? How do we make five of those per minute? 7.5 per minute here. Numbers are pretty straightforward. Okay, well how about five per minute? We can underclock this, right? Like five divided by 7.5 equals 66%. Oh, perfect, actually, 4.9 per minute. All right, we just need to grab a bunch of this stuff from our random processing floor, and these will be a breeze. We'll probably actually build these upstairs though, and not in this area. Because upstairs, we already have a huge area that's making all of the manufacturing stuff, and we have easy access to all of our starter supplies too. So uh, my friend, you are getting a neighbor. There we go. Just happens to be like the perfect amount of space for one of these. <laughs> of course. And we could make the crystal beacons. Hold up. That takes a lot of my steel though. Do I want to use more steel? But only 0.5 crystal oscillators per minute? Dude, hold up. I really should have looked at that recipe first because wow, that's easy and much more efficient. So we'll just bring a crystal oscillator line down here. And then our steel is literally at the end of the hall here. Omega super easy. And now I just have to do a bit of belt work. And now we're done. And the whole system is working perfectly. 
easiest project of my life. Check this out. We already have a full bin of Noblisks as well. We're blowing up the world, brother. And look at all the ammo. Pretty dang neat. Also, I didn't realize this, but holy snap. We're making like 50 billion beacons per minute. Like twice the amount we even need in here. So now we have a source of beacons too. For when we're making more trains or doing beacon stuff. Yeah. But with our newfound arsenal, it is time to craft ourselves a rifle. Grab a little bit of ammo and a handful of noblesks. And go for a little bit of uh let's call it a hmm, test run. Yes, a test run. Oh my god, finally! I have mentioned this a million times! It's a spider with a glowing mouth! I have, oh my goodness! I, I mentioned this in streams, and everyone thought I was crazy. The developers said it wasn't real, but it is. But it is, where'd he go? There he is! He's like drooling fire or something. I knew it! I knew I wasn't crazy. Everyone else was. You, you are my precious. You're the proof. I can send you now to my therapist and tell him I'm not seeing things. I'm not as crazy as he thought. That is so weird. So there is gonna be a new enemy type, I think. I don't know. I don't know what it means. I'm just super happy to see it's real. Anyway though, let's test out other things. Because spiders go boom. Yes. Come on down. Come on down. Do you want more explosives? I can make this work. See? But we'll use explosives a little bit more later on. But yeah, it's like a new texture update. It's not because they're wounded, I, I guarantee that. There's no like wounded animation. But it's like drooling. Ew, it's so weird. I gotta take a picture of it for my Twitter though. There we go, proof confirmed. But anyway, I went ahead and I brought everything up to our storage room here. So uh, plenty of Noblisks, all of the beacons we'll need forever, and... A decent chunk of ammo. So that's pretty good. Weapons factory is complete. However, we're kind of used to using like the rifle and the explosives. Like that's been around for a while. So I thought, why not try something new? And I looked to see if there are any more mods that could be fun. And lo and behold, I found some. So first up here, there's this exosuit mod which effectively combines the Blade Runners and the jetpack into one item. So that's pretty neat. Thought we could try that out for size. So what do we need for you, my friend? Just a handful of computers. Easily done. So now we have an exosuit. Neat. All right, does it look any different on us? We can't really see, but whoa, we're moving. Oh my god, we're going way faster! And of course we can fly. This is way faster than the Blade Runners even. This is like twice the speed. Dude, let's compare. So that's this. And this is the Blade Runners. Oh my god, it is double the speed. And we don't need to worry about having Blade Runners and jetpacks and switching between the two anymore. Dude, this is the future! I love it. I love it. We're gonna be using this all the time. However, I found another thing that might be even more fun. Something I guess we can call a spicy stick? It's quite self-explanatory, but it kind of makes sense. We already have the Noblisks. We have the rifle. Just put them together and you get this. And hopefully it's a lot of fun. So, uh, pot a launch. Launcher a get. And now how do we craft you, brother? Wow. Okay, that's actually pretty balanced. And then the rockets, oof, omega oof. Motors, noblisks, and fuel. That's not cool, but we'll cross that road when we get to it. But for now, let's make a couple rockets and see how fun these guys are. So we're looking pretty decked out now. Got myself a ton of ammunition, 100 rockets, the adventure pack, and of course, 
our rocket launcher. Which looks like someone just put a rocket launcher bottle into a rebar gun. So that's, uh, nifty. And hopefully it's pretty dang powerful because we're gonna go on a little bit of an adventure here. And we're just gonna fly off, maybe, probably, into the swamplands. And just give it a test. See how it goes. See if it's as powerful as it hopefully should be. And also actually works. That would be very important too. And it would be super omega nice if it could actually blow up trees because oh my gosh, that would save us so much time. Should we just, should we just fire it now? Yes. What happened? Where, where did the rocket go? Is it lost? Lost to the void? Fire number two. Oh no, it's going. It's very hard to see. It is very small. <gasps> but it blows up the trees. That is all I wanted to see. All I wanted to see. So now we can just go around biomes blowing stuff up with a rocket launcher. Oh boy. Oh, and hello there, small friends. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty good. This is pretty good. I like this. Hey, Mr. Spiders. It's me, Kibitz. I've come to visit your domain. Would any of you like to say hi? Just a quick hello. Hi, plant. Goodbye, plant. I feel like I'm playing Team Fortress 2 or something here. This is ridiculous, but I love it. And seriously, there's no spiders? Dude, they're lurking. They're always lurking. Come on. Well, hello. Well, goodbye! So we can one-shot the tankiest enemies in the game. Meaning we can one-shot everything. That's good. This is good. This is very good. Lizard Doggo, get out of the way. Yes, exactly. Rocket launchers. Not a good time. By the way, you know what is a good time? I found out. You can shoot. Those little explosive ball things and get them out of the way. Ain't that neat. Not as neat as the rocket launcher, but pretty dang neat. Good night. Okay, but seriously, my kingdom for a spider. We found every other enemy except for a freaking spider. Why? Why? Also, it looks like we have to direct impact with the missiles here. I thought there'd be some splash damage since the explosion's like humongous. Clearly not. Ooh. Ooh. But thank you for leading me to Purple Sluggo Boy. Come with me, friend. But we're not leaving the swamp without finding a spider. I can't believe we haven't seen one yet. Literally, there's like hundreds, if not thousands, last time I was in here. Maybe there's some over here. Nope, just a big ol' rock. Can this blow up rocks? No. Okay, so we still need the Noblisks uh, for that. That's all right. If we can deal with every other enemy in the game with this, I am very pleased. Good night, sweet prince. Let's see what secrets you're hiding in your citadel. Purple slug? Yeah, bud. Spider boy, I'm here, my friend. I can save you. Don't worry. Hello, I've missed you. Come say hi. Yes. Say hi. I have a new toy. I made it just for you. Just for you. All right. You ready? It's Christmas. Oh yeah. We're gonna be using this a lot though. This is a lot of fun. The sound effect is a little meh, but dude, we can one shot the world and destroy biomes super, super quick. In fact, let's just go poop, poop. Oh, it destroys a lot of trees at once. Oh, well, well. What's the fire rate? Not that good. That's all right. Faster than throwing nobelisks everywhere. Ooh, and now we're finding, oh, it's another glowy spider. Is this an experimental thing? It must be. Hello. I haven't seen these guys in like 20,000 years and then we join uh, experimental. And they're all over the place. Bruh. Why are you glowing? Do you do something different to me? Do you one-shot me? I'm willing to have this tested. No, nope, same damage. 
Little one, go away. You're dealing with forces beyond your con control. There we go. But anyway, let's dip. Let's automate these rockets here because we're gonna be using them a heck of a lot, brother. And then rock and roll from there. So this shouldn't really be too difficult, to be honest. We have a plenty of room over here, which is great. We have the noblists being produced right there, which is convenient. So we can just have this facing in this direction, just like so. Add one of them splitty boys up right here. And then that is one problem dealt with. And then, what else did we need again? We needed the motors and the packaged fuel. Well, that's gonna be super easy again too, because just over this way, we have a few conveyor lifts and a little bit of lag. And on this floor, we can get all of the other items we need, because that's kind of like our storage room organization floor. Ta da! Every item in the world, pretty much. Cool. So there's our fuel line. We'll just diverge a little bit from there. <laughs> the motors are right beside it. And man, this couldn't be any easier. Just gotta make a simple hole in the wall, bring down some belts. And now we pretty much have infinite rockets. Very, very cool. But anyway, I think it's about time we got uh, back on track. <laughs> and finished off our little rail network here that we started in the beginning of the video. So, I did not expect things to go off the rails so much and end up with a rocket launcher today. So I don't think we're gonna mess with that train station. But since we have all of these fancy fancy tours, we are gonna go down this way and make a train station down here for the sulfur at least. So, yeah, here's the plan. We're actually not gonna be building the ramp foundations or anything like that for the trains that enter this area. I want to have them kind of go along the ground. That means they go up and down a little bit more, and I think it'll be a lot more interesting as we move forward in the playthrough. Please, for the love of everything, tell me that I brought this. Thank you. I forgot to bring ammo. That's okay. We have a rocket launcher. It'll do. Let's get these rocks out of the way, these pesky, pesky boys. We'll just have to fly through here real quick, avoiding the radiation, because there is no way we're getting a radiation soon, uh, radiation suit anytime soon. So without a radiation suit, how do we go about this then? Well, I'm thinking we just go up here, select the track, and just build on through just like that. Oh, and we can cut through the radiation rock. I'm not gonna complain about that. There we go. Easily done. Except for you, go away, and then you, just do the same. No, don't touch it, stop, stop, stop. It's not your friend, don't play with it. It's a bad influence. Yeah, there we go, right over yonder hill. And this will make riding trains like a lot more interesting too, like going up and down the terrain. It really feels like we're in like an alien world. And also this is like significantly easier to do. <laughs> like making all the platforms for the train tracks, oh my gosh, does it get tedious. And this is a fun change of pace. Right on, so good strat here. That all worked out. And now our entire train network path is all planned out. Had to end up just going back this way, but it's fine. Everything works out in the end. Now we just have to get some resources, put together the train station, and then just scoop that precious press. Where did you come from? And <laughs> just scoop that precious, precious, pure sulfur node up. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. So this is definitely like a rough draft kind of project. We'll have to revisit it in the future. But I got the sulfur node. There is a pure copper node and two pure iron nodes as well. So I gathered them all up and yeah, they're going into the train. The train works, it goes in its loop, and then we'll deal with it more later. Really, I just wanted to get the station in and start getting that sulfur back to base. And of course, once we get into tiers seven and eight, we'll really focus on this station a heck of a lot more when we get into nuclear and aluminum stuff. However though, that's gonna be all here. So if you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a like and I hope to see you in the next video. But have a fantastic rest of your day and bye bye.